And we are out here for the annual Foley Cup uh, races between Gonzaga and St. Albans. Uh, we're going to be starting today with a uh, fours race. You can see a couple of our fours here. Gonzaga is going to be having three fours rowing in this race, an A, a B, and a C boat. Uh, there will be in the A boat, uh, Dylan Young will be stroking that one. Evan Donahoe is in the uh, two seat. Uh, Matthew Lestrang's in the, I'm sorry, Matt, Evan Donahoe's in the three seat. Matthew Lestrang's in the two. And Joe Caligaro's in the uh, bow of that one. Um, and John Carluccio will be stroking that one. Uh, in the B boat, we will see Brian Cooney stroking it. Uh, Spencer Natariani's in the three. Adam Sandin's in the two seat. And in the bow, Cal Donnelly. That will be Cox by David Knapp. And in the C boat, it will be Will Varnell uh, stroking the boat. Josh Bowman's in the three seat. Jack Rourke is in the two. And Ethan Toby is in the bow. That will be uh, coxed by Andrew Jopek. Um, and in this race, we'll be looking at uh, Gonzaga's A in lane one. St. Albans will be in lane two. Gonzaga B will be in lane three. Gonzaga C in lane four. We'll be getting off here in about uh, 20 minutes, probably. There's Gonzaga's other boat. Heading down the river for the start. I haven't seen St. Albans yet, but they'll be along presently. Looks like they're on the water now. Let's see a few splashes and a moving launch. That'll be uh, Gonzaga's boat there on the right of the launch. It's A boat and St. Albans on the left of it. And you can see Gonzaga's other two boats over here. And they're all off to their starts. They're moving along. Pretty much all in a line. Oh, Gonzaga's B boat looks like they may have gotten a little jump on the rest of the field there. Just a few hundred meters still into the race, so we'll be coming up on the second third of the race here pretty soon. Right now, if I had to say, it would look like uh, St. Albans and Gonzaga's B boat are in the front positions. And it's really hard to tell at this distance. on about the halfway point. It's still uh, really anybody's race here. Although Gonzaga's B boat does look like they're doing pretty well. You're going to see uh, now that's the C boat going behind the pillar first. And then, uh, and then the B boat. struggling in lane one. <coughs> the 
So those have gone behind the pillar. I'm going to just pan over here and take a look at this A boat. Still in this race, that's for sure. In fact, they picked up a little bit on St. Albans and they have passed them. Still haven't seen the other ones come out from behind the bridge pillar yet. Um, I don't know, I see a hint of one. We're watching St. Albans go behind, and there's Gonzaga, and you look on the other side, there's the Gonzaga C boat and the Gonzaga B boat. The B boat does look like it's quite a ways up on the C boat. The A boat is really coming on now as they go behind the pillar. They've really picked it up. Now we see St. Albans coming out from behind the pillar. This is a close race. B boat's got a little bit on St. Albans. Uh, a boat has picked it up and may have been taking the lead now. And here they come, final 200 meters. Zaga's looking pretty good. A boat's got open water on the field now. And is sprinting into the finish. St. Albans is trying to catch that B boat. The A boat has this well in hand. So you see them go by. Looking good. Just watch these other two. They got a finish there. So the A wins. B, yeah, B took second. And we'll pan over here to watch the C boat finish. Not a bad way to start things off. The one, two finish. First race of the day.